What's up beautiful people? It's Mizgo here and today I'm going to help you land some freelance clients if you want to go down the route of cold contacting someone. Now I've been doing this for 13 years and I've got lots of different ways of doing this but this is just one way that I helped one of my designers in my design community land a meeting with a cold client. Someone she doesn't even know, she just reached out to her. So the story was Natalia left a comment in the actual community and said, hey, I've been using this app, um, the design is bad, the UI is bad, I really want to put forward some suggestions, how should I go about uh, contacting them, how do I get my foot in the door? So I gave her a few tips. Now the first tip is to always go down a personal route, right? You want to find the company, but you don't want to go through the website because that's just going to end up in HR or just some random mailbox. You want to go and find the person the key decision maker in that business that you want to talk to. So the best place, LinkedIn. Jump onto LinkedIn, go to the company that you want to actually work for, find a list of the people that you, you want to contact because they're the key decision makers and reach out to them via a message. First tip. Second tip, you obviously want to optimize your LinkedIn profile now. Because you're on LinkedIn, you're contacting people. If you are doing cold outreach, which means that you're contacting someone you don't even know. They don't know who the hell you are. You're a complete stranger. You want to make sure you're worth their time. So you want to make sure that you've got a nice profile photo, you look good, you've got a nice filled out profile, you don't just have UX designer in your about section, you have a big blurb about who you are, you've got all your experiences in there. It actually feels like I want to spend time talking to you because it feels like you're going to save me the time, you're going to help me in my life, whatever it might be. And then the third thing is to actually go ahead and contact them, right? But here's the secret, here's the tip that really helped Natalia land that initial meeting. So I shared with her this exact template that I've used previously with random startup that I reached out to and also landed a meeting with them. So as you can see over here, I'm going to grab my phone, it's on my phone. First off, just wanted to say love what you're doing with that company name. Since the company is smaller and more nimble than existing players in the market, there's definitely some pretty interesting disruption that could be made. Mm -hmm. My team, this was when I was reaching out to a cold uh, client back in 2020, uh, my team with vast amount of disruptors that have done incredibly well with a, qu and a quick recap here, for the first half of 2020, we've also got a former zipper and I sent a link to a few case studies that I have crafted for a few relevant projects that I believe that um, he was interested in. And then I ended the, the message with saying, anyways, just want to loop in to let you know good work on the ambitious move and if there's any product strategy, growth, design or development needed, I'm all ears. That's what I sent to someone, landed an actual uh, meeting and in the, also an engagement as well. Now this also helped out Natalia because followed on, Natalia said, Hi Michael, thank you so much for the template. After modifying it and making it a bit more personal, I've reached out to the founder and lucky enough, right? Lucky enough, it worked. We've scheduled a call for this week. Thank you again for, for always sharing useful advice. Now statistically, two out of two people landed a response, so that's 100% success rate. Now obviously I can't guarantee you guys it's going to work for everyone, it probably won't work for you, but this, the point of this is to give you an, an idea, something that you can actually obviously just steal, take, craft your own response and adapt it for your own situation. Now I want to give you a quick breakdown of how and why I structured this response and this is only one of the hundreds of uh, outreach sort of templates that I've created for myself. So when you want to cold out, uh, cold outreach to someone, you obviously want to use the method where you want to compliment them first, right? Don't go in asking for things right away give them something, right? Give them a compliment, give them some value, give them upfront value, give them free redesigns, whatever it might be, give them something first. Because once they take it, they feel obliged to give back. That's just human instinct. So the first thing is obviously come in with by giving, so give them an awesome compliment. Then you wanna make them become problem aware, right? So when I said, since the company is smaller and more nimble than existing players in the market, there's definitely some pretty interesting disruption that could be made. That was in reference to his company, right? Because you wanna make sure that when you're cold contacting to potential clients or prospects, they're not in the mindset of, I wanna hire you. They don't know what your intent is, right? So you need to make sure that 
you open up that conversation, you plant the seed and let them know, hey, there is a lot of disruption that you can be making, a lot of updates, a lot of refinements, a lot of ways to increase growth, user base, user count, acquisition, whatever it might be, you want to plant that seed and you want to let them know that that's what you're helping them think about. Second paragraph, my team with vast amount of disruptors have done incredibly well. A quick recap here, and I sent them a link to some case studies. That is my way of building validation. I don't want to waste time. Dude, here is a link to all the case studies. You can assess it yourself. You can take a read through it all. You can take a look at all the companies that we've worked for, the successes, the case studies, how we did it all, and you can decide if we're good enough to help you, right? So I'm not trying to sell. Just take a look at this stuff, right? So I'm just putting it forward to him. And then I pretty much ended the actual message by just opening up the channels. I don't want to push you into having a meeting right away or anything, which is a different tactic, right? This is, I would in a different scenario, but for this specific scenario, I didn't want to push for a meeting right away. I was just trying to become more aware on his radar because I potentially wanted to bring them on as a client, but I didn't want to be aggressive about it. So I simply said, just wanted to uh, loop you in. If, you, if there's anything you want to talk about, I'm all ears, ping back and let me know. Funny enough, the founder actually reached out pretty much the same day when this message was sent and said, I've seen your work around. I've seen what you've done. Would love to jump on a call. And we did. Now, obviously, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive and you want to push for a, an actual meeting, you can actually send through a Calendly link and say, hey, like whatever time best suits you, just pop in a time in my link and let's chat. Right, so you're being more proactive and you actually have a call to action for your message. But for this one specifically, that's not my intent. My intent was just to be aware on his radar and just be aware that we provide these services. If you ever need to, just get in touch. That was my purpose. So obviously, this hopefully gives you a better understanding of how you can go and do cold outreach. Now, take this template, use it. Go land some clients. Now, if you do land a meeting, please, please, please let me know in the comments below because that is going to make my day, guys. And before I let you go, just remember, just remember to don't literally take this template word for word because this is obviously how I wanted to execute it. If you want a project with your experience, your background, your journey, you need to tailor this towards what you live for, what you stand for, and your experiences because you can't just copy and paste. Natalia didn't, and she tailored it for her own situation, which obviously landed her that first meeting. So you need to do that as well. Guys, I hope you had a stellar week, and I hope you land a few more clients. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Wow.